open your uh, Windows Movie Maker uh, to get started, you come to this screen which has a variety of parts on it. And uh, the, the purpose uh, of this slideshow is to, uh, to inform you what the different parts are and uh, what their use is. The first thing that you'll want to notice is that the screen is divided into different areas. The first of these I want you to notice is over on the left margin, which is labeled here as movie tasks. Uh, the movie tasks ha have uh, the things that you do uh, to a video listed out in more or less the order that you'll want to do them. Uh, under item number one, you'll see that uh, this is to capture video. A big part of this is so that you will uh, be able to capture from a camcorder if you use one. Uh, for the most part, uh, on these uh, lessons, you'll be uh, using it to import pre-created video or import pictures or, or import music or sound into your, uh, your file. Uh, the second part of this is uh, where we uh, edit the, the movie and you can examine here the different parts, uh, the view the video effects, view the transitions, uh, view the make titles, and, and there's something called auto movie, which sounds interesting, uh, but I don't know very much about. Then there's the, the finish movie. The, the main thing we'll be using here is to save it to my computer. Although uh, uh, this particular functionality can also be found from the file menu. If you're not already at this uh, particular screen, you can get to this particular screen by, passing, by, by pressing the task button. Uh, there at uh, the top here and in, in this you can see it's already been depressed that's why we can see this particular bar. In the center of the, the screen the, this is the collections panel. Uh, after we go through the process of importing content like uh, uh, a video clip or a uh, music file or a sound file or a photograph. Uh, these will be displayed for us uh, in uh, collections plan panels and we, there are various different ways you will be able to organize your, your collections um, to come back and use different clips over and over again. When we press the collections button uh, along the top, we're, we're taken to a, a different view of that left-hand margin, which, which lists a couple of things there. The, the first of these, which you might all, almost miss, would be a video effects button. Uh, below that, a video transitions button. But, but mainly what we have here is organization of uh, collections uh, which are this is content which has previously been imported into the computer. Uh, you can bring in your collections and it, uh, renaming the these files is intuitive. It, it's all done through right clicking on your mouse just like with the regular Windows interface. Uh, and you can drag and move things between collections and, and organize things. Uh, but your, your organization can become quite intricate if you desire. This particular slide, I have uh, imported uh, an audio track and a video track to, in order to create a slide. Uh, I will now proceed to tell you how to uh, combine these together to make a single video. Okay, now first take the audio file, uh, take your mouse and grab it with your, uh, your left mouse button and then drag it down to drag it to the audio and music track. I always drag down my audio first because the audio will determine the length of the clip and, and the, the, the 
image can be resized to fit the audio but not the other not the other way around the next step is to drag the image file down this is just a JPEG that we've taken as a screenshot I place it on the video track and then I, I will uh, grab a hold of its uh, of the uh, the images um, right hand margin and you uh, with my uh, left mouse button and I will drag it to be the same size as uh, my audio file once we have resized uh, our image uh, we want to make sure that they're the same length. I gu guess it is okay if perhaps the, the image length is a little bit longer than the, the audio, as in when we put together the final project and put all of our screens together, we can do a little uh, trimming. But it is uh, important that we get all of our sound. The, the sound drives the project.